Assalamualaikum everyone. Today I am going to take you through the process of scanning the documents and converting them into a PDF using your Android phone. The app I am going to use is Cam Scanner. Note that there are many other apps that can perform the same function. So to start with, go to Play Store and search for the Cam Scanner app. This is the app we are going to use. Press install over here. It will take some time to get installed. Once you have installed, you can open the app by clicking on the open button over here or you can go to your desktop and click on the app over here. The first time you run the app, it will take you through the introduction. So you can swipe left to move forward. And in the last page, it will give you an option of buying this software if you want some additional features. But for the time being, we are going to skip it, so I'm going to cross it. Then it will ask you to register or sign in. I'm also going to skip this thing. I'm going to click on use now. Now it will ask me for certain permissions, so I'm going to allow it to use my camera. I'll cross it once again. And that's it. Now we can start scanning our documents. So to start scanning, touch on this camera icon. It will once again ask you for the permission to use camera. So allow it. It will give you an option to start a demo where it will show you that how you can use this app to scan the documents. Right now I'm going to press cross over here. So I'm going to scan this document right away. This is my four year old book. I'm going to scan it and convert it into a PDF. So this is the first page. Just click on the camera button once you have focused appropriately onto the page. Now to crop it so that you can cover the whole range of the page, you can drag any of these white circles like this for example in the upper left corner it is showing you a magnified view that where the that white circle is right now so adjust all these white circles unless you get a good cropping result i guess it is okay now so i'm going to click on the next button now over here it gives you an option for different colors if the document doesn't include any color i will recommend to use black and white option because it will automatically remove all kind of shadows present in your image but if there are colors then you can use any suitable color from here so once you have chosen this color click on save and it has now saved this first image now to add a new page or to add the other document touch on this camera icon once again so it will ask you for the next page i'm going to turn it over so this is the next page i'm going to take it snap now once again i'm going to adjust it but it looks quite fine already so i'm just going to click next so once again I can use different options of colors as I knew that there is no color present over here so I can safely go with the black and white version. So I have clicked on the B and W and now I want to save it. In the similar fashion you can add as many pages as you like and once you are done to convert this thing into a PDF click on this button over here. It will ask you to remove the watermark but you cannot remove because if you'll try to remove it it will ask you to buy the software. So you have to bear with this watermark. And that's it. This file has been converted into a PDF. Now you want to save it or if you want to directly share it with your friends press this share button. If you want to save it you can press this save to local and if you want to send directly to email you can directly use your mailing app or you can also save it to your google drive and there are many other options present over here. I am going to save it on my local drive so I am going to touch this save to local button and that's it. The file has been stored in the particular folder. Now let me go to that folder and open this file. So this lower file was the one that I just produced. I am going to click on it and I am going to open it in the PDF viewer. So here is the file that I have generated. You can easily share this file by clicking on these three dots and then send file. So I hope now you guys can easily convert your documents using your Android phone. If you like our video kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel where we will be constantly uploading videos on different technical and non-technical topics.